All right, hello. Welcome back to my CTR Nitro Fueled Hard Adventure Mode. We're going to continue with the Papu Papu CTR Challenge. So let's randomize. We're not playing as Velo, we're playing as Pura. Go on, Pura. White Tiger Pura, to be more specific. Here we go then Papu's Pyramid CTR Challenge. What could possibly go wrong? From memory, I know that two of the tokens are on the shortcut. One of the few tracks in which there are tokens on the shortcut. Have a bomb cortex, naughty man. He is definitely a naughty man, always try to take over the world and such. That's considered naughty in my book. Be nice, right, shortcut. And the second shortcut. And the T, yeah, there we go. Let's see if we get all the letters in the first lap. There is the R around this corner. Okay, a warp orb. Take that, everyone. Is that White Tiger Tiny as well? I'm White Tiger Pure, and I've got White Tiger Tiny in the race. What are the chances of that happening? Oh, my God, that TNT almost hit me. Oh, my God, who plays TNT there? That's very naughty. All right, let's keep this going. I'm in third. Careful of the plant. Someone's car alarm has just gone off outside. Hopefully that's not being picked up on the mic. Right, Coco's in first. I will be able to do this shortcut on this lap, though, which will give me, hopefully, the lead. Lovely jump. Well done, Pura. Good boy. Or girl. People think Pura's a girl, but I think he's a boy. I don't know. You can call it whatever you want. Oh, that stupid TNT that I saw someone place last lap hit me. That's rude. Also, with the new Grand Prix, it has been announced that Pura will get a new skin, Sabertooth Pura. I did ask for more Pura skins, and it looks like my wish is coming true. Oh no, this Warp is going to hit me at literally the worst possible time. So now I can't do that shortcut. I hope I've still got a good enough lead. I didn't get any jump off of that. There we go. I've still got a good enough lead to hold on, though. Lovely. First place is mine. So the final standings, Coco, Cortex, and Jin, Dingo, 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 Polar, Crash Bandicoot, and Tiny Tiger. There we go, red CTR token. Well, Coco looks a bit pissed off. I would be too, she just lost to her own cat. Right, it's now time for the Papu's Pyramid Relic Race. So let's randomise the character again. That's a lot of R's. Who do we get? Okay, we get Zam. That's interesting. That's another turning character. Relic race time. Right, it's now time for the Papu's Pyramid Relic Race. We'll see what flavour of relic I get. I'm playing as Zam. I've only played as him once in this series so far and it didn't go very well because he lost the trophy race in Coco Park. So let's hope that's not a bad omen. All right, it's a cheeky little turn to the left here where you got to jump down and get all those three second boxes. I think I got them all. I hope I got them all at least. So far, not too bad, right? Jump and then back onto the course. That three second box can be very tough. All right, so shortcut on this lap. There we go. And the secondary shortcut. And the three second box, this is going very much to plan so far. One, two, three. Oh, I almost completely messed up that shortcut. Right, one second box. And across the line, what time is it? A 47, that's got to be close to platinum. It's still a gold in the end and I still got perfect. I got all the boxes, I would take that. There we go, that's another gold relic to add to my collection, which is now six golds and two platinums. Right, it's now time to get another one of those naughty purple tokens. This is Rampage Ruins. Who will I randomise to? Ripperoo. That's a lot of R's. Rampage Ruins with Ripperoo. Deary me. Here we go then. Purple token time. So here we go then, Rampage Ruins Purple Token with Ripper Roo. This is probably my favourite purple token, if you can have a favourite purple token. Do people have those? I don't know. Right, let's get the ones around the outside first. I think that's a good tactic to go with. 
There we go. Oh, got in between both those bits of TNT. That will do. Right. I'll save that for later. I'll go get this one and turn around and then drop off here. There we go. Now I'm not sure what pattern I'm doing. I'm just getting whatever ones I can see. Should I go around here and get this one? Why not? <laughs> yeah. Jump, then jump, then go down this hole. There we go. Right. And there's one around here. There it is. And then ramp off here. Right there. Then ramp off here. Then get this one. I've got five left to collect. Where are they all? Right, there's one. There's still the one off the ramp. I'll get that last. I'm hoping all of them are in this area. I think they are, right. Let's hope I can get enough speed. Jump! There we go. 3.8 seconds left. Probably not the best route or pattern to do. But if you follow that route and do exactly what I just did, you'll get the CTR token. Hopefully. There we go. Purple CTR token with Gentleman Ripper Row. What? What? Yeah, yes, it's me, Ripper Row. I can't imagine Ripper Row being a gentleman, to be honest. Terrible table manners. Always spits up keys. Right, it's now time for the Blizzard Bluff CTR Challenge. Let's randomise again. This game does love an alliteration. Okay, and we've got Nash in the Entrance Mobile. Lovely. Let's see how well this goes. CTR Challenge. So here we go then. Blizzard Bluff CTR Challenge. There was some controversy in my CTR Top 10 tracks that this didn't make it in my top 10. If I was to rank it now, I'd probably put it around about 20th. There's just lots of things that frustrate me about this track, including that boulder, including that bomb, that's also frustrating me in this track. <laughs> At least I've got an Aku Aku mask, that could be powerful. Right, let's get back in the race. After that terrible start, eat my naughty Aku Aku mask. Not even an Aku Aku mask, it's a Velo mask, because I'm Nash. I get my shield, I get the C, at least I've got all the letters. So let's now concentrate on getting it into first. But if you look at the map, you can already see Crash and Polar are already miles ahead. That's what seems to happen on this track. I've got a clock at least, that's rare. I rarely get to use clocks. That'll help me out no ends of time. There we go, got the shortcut, and even with a clock, Polar is still in first. It just goes to show just how strong the computers are around this track. Of course he has a rocket. Why wouldn't he fire a rocket at me? Right. Very important to keep this sacred fire. If you don't keep this sacred fire, you will not make the shortcut. There we go. Right. Just hold on to the lead. Let's hope Poe doesn't have any more rockets. But yeah, considering I did that shortcut twice, I've still only just finished out of Polar. For some reason, what I found on this track with hard difficulty is there's always one computer that's really overpowered, and I have no idea why. I mean, look, he finished four seconds ahead of Crash, and ten seconds ahead of everyone else. Mad! Right, Polar in second, Crash, Dingadal, Tiny, Pura, Coco, and Cortex. Here we go then, Red CTR Token. Wasn't Papu's Pyramids a Red CTR Token as well? There we go. Baby... No, I'm not singing it! Right then, it's now time for another Relic Race, this time Blizzard Bluff. Let's randomise again. We're not playing as Nash, we're playing as Retro Crash Bandicoot. Okay, let's see how this goes. Relic Race time! So here we go then, Blizzard Bluff Relic Race. As we wait for the lights to go out. And away we go. Now then, this is probably one of the hardest platinum rakes to get in the game, along with Sewer Speedway. Get another boost there, and I hopefully keep the boost for the shortcut. I've made it, I've missed the three second box on the shortcut, but at least I've made the shortcut. There we go, a couple more boxes. Now then, when I actually got the Platinum Relics, this is one of the few tracks in which I didn't get all the boxes. Because I have no idea how to get all the boxes and get the Platinum Relic. 
Oh, I'm gonna get squished. That's okay though, I will now be able to get these boxes. Right, let's get these couple, then go for these ones. There we go. Right, through the shortcut, I think that's the only box I'm missing. It's a three second box, very useful to get that one. All right, there we go. Cross the shortcut, get the three second box. This is definitely gonna be gold, nowhere near platinum. Might as well get the three second box anyway. All right, what am I missing around here? There's a two second box, don't really need to get it. There's a three second box there. 56, comfortably win gold. Nowhere near platinum, but I will take that. There we go then, another gold relic, and Crash is very happy. Lovely. Okay, it's now time for the CTR challenge in Dragon Mines. Let's randomise again. Who do I get? We get Dingo, Dingo, Dingo. On probably the track in which it's probably the hardest to play as, as a speed character. That's just my luck. So here we go then, Dragon Mines CTR Challenge. Notoriously, this is one of the tracks in which most people seem to hate. And although I wouldn't say it's my least favourite track, it's certainly down near the bottom. Right, where are all the tokens? There's a C here, there we go. I remember there is a T or an R where you have to jump down from the carousel or the corkscrew. Whatever you want to call this little section, there it is, the T. Now this will lose me a lot of time, so from first, I'm going to go all the way down to seven. And smash into a barrier, right. So now it's road to recovery, let's see if I can get back through, right, there's the R there, I'll leave that for a later lap. Get a warp orbed everyone, I also missed that speed boost which could end up being costly. Right, I'm actually in second though, that's not bad, I'm missing all the boxes. I boosted my way into first, and... Predictably, the person in second had a missile. Great. And the amount of times you overtake... He had another missile. Great. <laughs> if I overtake him for a third time and he ends up having another missile, I'm going to go mad. Right then. Okay, cool. I didn't want that box. I didn't want a box there either. <laughs> this game will not let me have a box. I can't even remember the last box I actually picked up. Right, I've overtaken Crash and he's not fired a rocket at me. That's better news. Have some TNT, someone. Oh, hello, there's a bomb flying across my screen. Oh, now I've got to slow down for that minecart, otherwise I would have got squashed then. Oh, there's a naughty potion on the outside. I'm not even that far ahead. Someone else is trying to fire a rocket at me. That minecart is almost in the way again. There we go. Right, it's the first I've actually had a clean lap. And across the line. CTR challenge done. There we go then, a lovely blue CTR token. Tiny Tiger distraught with himself, oh no. Meanwhile, dingo, dingo, dingo. Now then, to finish off this episode, we'll get the relic for Dragon Mines. So let's randomize again. And we'll get Tiny Tiger, another speed character. My luck, I swear, I get all the speed characters on the tracks where I don't want a speed character. Every other wreck has been slow character, slow character, slow character. Right, it's now time for the Dragon Mines Relic Race with Tiny Tiger. What could possibly go wrong? Here we go then. Oh, I've already got into a wall, that's not a good start. Very hard to control Tiny around this track. Uh, let's go for it. I'm going to get run over. I know I'm going to get squashed. <laughs> oh no, I just about got through there without getting squashed. I'm going to take that. Do the slalom. I'm going to get squashed here instead. Oh no. There we go. Got that box. That one can be very tricky because you lose all speed around there. Right, now time for a bit of a tough section. You've got to turn tightly here, jump down, collect all those boxes, then go round again. Overall, you will save time doing that, because they are all three-second boxes. There we go, get that two-second box. That's in quite a tough position to get as well. So let's play a bit cautiously. Sometimes if you boost too much, you will miss boxes. Around the outside, 39 out of 39, cut across the coal. Got all the boxes, this is platinum! 
it's platinum there we go it's been a while since i got a platinum relic on this series i'll take that there we go at last another platinum relic that's my third platinum relic in this series general tiny very proud of you sir sergeant i don't know no he's a general he's even more important than a sergeant sorry sorry ca uh, captain um it's a general but anyway that is where i'm gonna end this part thank you everybody for watching i'll see you in the next one take care and goodbye